Ferrari. Diamonds all over my body, shining all over my body. Cardi got your bitch on Molly. Bitch, you ain't gang, you lame. Billy truck lane in the lane. Blow out the brain. I go insane, insane. I drop a chuck. Guys, this is definitely going to be a voiceover, but don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Um, don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to hit that notification bell if you want to be notified every time i upload a video and yeah i just wanted to say hello to all of my new subscribers and welcome back to my old ones and yeah i filmed this creative fun look for you guys today and i think it's just so freaking gorgeous and pretty and dainty and just mm, yes okay so yeah, this is what I filmed for you guys today. If you like what you see right now, continue to watch the video. And I make sure, I, I promise, I'm going to make sure that I list all the products in the description box. And I know my stuff been like this the whole time, okay? Don't judge. But, yeah, um, with all that being said, let's jump right into the video. So, hey guys, I'm taking my Makeup Revolution. Um, concealer, this kind of reminds me of the Shape Tape Concealer, if you know, if you don't want to use that one anymore. Um, yeah, and I'm just cutting under my eyes. You guys know I normally use my LA Girl. But, yeah, I already brushed my brows up. Um, I've been doing this thing lately where sometimes I feel in my brows, sometimes I don't. So, yeah, I guess it just depends on the mood I'm in. But, yeah, I'm putting that base down, um with a morphe brush let me guys let me know if you want me to start listing the brushes that i use all of them don't have names but just let me know in the comments if you want that but i'm just spreading that out smoothly so we can have a nice even base and i really like this for my eyeshadow this con certain concealer because yeah it dries down matte and quick so the shadows blend smoothly over it so yeah guys, today we're using the Crayola bo box of crayons palette. And I'm super duper excited. Um, we're taking this yellow shade. Um, and this is the second time I use this palette. I do like the palette. Um, I've used it on clients and it's popping. So yeah. So I'm taking that yellow shade and I'm tapping first and then blending. So since I use that eyeshadow, I mean I didn't set that concealer, you want to tap first and then blend. And this ensures that the shades come up more pigmented. Um, I got this from P. Louise. I haven't tried their base. I'm learning this stuff. Oh my god, guys. Okay, but yeah, I got that from P. Louise. I'm taking the shade 10 and I'm going under that shade. That tan shade is kind of orangey not really like a tan how you would imagine it's kind of like an orangey so yeah i would normally use this as my transition but today we're going colorful so i did yellow so you just want to blend that under that shade of yellow and pack as much as you need to pack on I'm gonna take that uh, deep purple shade and I'm gonna start placing it on the outer V. Sometimes, guys, when you're using deep shades, um, you flip back and forth between different brushes. One brush you might use for packing, another brush you might use for blending, or another brush might just blend it out better. So yeah, um, I'm blending, I'm tapping that on my outer V first, and I'm blending it inwards into my crease. So yeah.
And then you also want to go back in with that tan shade to make sure that there's no harsh lines and blend that purple shade out. So yeah, you want to make sure that they come together, if that makes any sense. Now it's time to cut that crease. I'm using that same concealer, guys. And here you just want to take your time when cutting the crease and where you want, want your crease to start. So, yeah, just take your time and watch me cut the crease. I'm sorry I'm talking so much, y'all. My friend here. And I'm just running my yap. And she running hers, too. So... <laughs> So I took this pink shade, it's kind of like a pinky berry color shade, and I'm placing it all over my lids, it's a shimmery shade, it's so freaking gorgeous, and it was just calling my name, so I used it, um, so I placed this all over my lid area where I cut that crease at, and I'm gonna go back on the side and blend that purple into that pink, so <laughs> yeah. So now I'm about to take my Ink Light Gel Liner. My fave, this stuff is so freaking black. And I'm gonna take a brush, an angle brush, and flick this wing out. And I just love using cream, y'all. I haven't tried liquid liner in so long, but maybe I should give it a shot. So yeah, I'm just lining this part of my eyes. So I'm taking my NYX Vivid Liner in purple, and this is very hard, guys, so you really want to take your time with this. Um, it's even still hard for me, but yeah, just take your time and try to get the best wing that you can. So now I'm going to take my CoverGirl T80 foundation. I know it's too light. I'm going to take my mattifying primer as well. Um, yeah, I know the foundation is too light for me but i try to fix that with powder because i'm not about to order another one if it come in the store then y'all pick up another one to find my shade but right now no okay i'm not about to try to find it and yeah i still like the foundation still matter fine and stuff but i think that this shade would be more of my winter shade um i'm getting very dark it's summertime and yeah 
So my none of my foundations right now matches me. None of them. Not even my Fenty. So yeah, hopefully when I get this color pop foundation in the mail, it matches. Um and yeah, I'm just applying this foundation with a brush and yeah, I'm just gonna let you guys watch me do this because I always do these in videos. So let me stop running my mouth and let you guys just watch.
Okay, back to my eyes. I'm taking the same pink shade and I'm placing that in the under my eyes as well as that shimmery shade. And I'm gonna also place that dark purple shade on the outer corner. So I'm basically placing everything where it sits at on my eyes, on the top part of my eyes. So yeah, guys, you just wanna make sure that that is well blended and be careful because you don't want it to fall out on your face, but I didn't have that issue. Now for lips, I'm taking my brown lip pencil by MAC is in Chestnut, and yeah, I take this brown lip pencil every time. I don't just put a lip color straight on. I mean, I can, but I never do, so yeah. So now I'm gonna take my Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the shade Austin. This is my Ashton Austin, one of them. This is my favorite lipstick ever. Like, I wear it when I'm not having on no makeup, when I gotta go to school. And they be like, you need color on. Like, this is my jam. But I'm putting on some mascara. You can use any old mascara, cause I don't even know what this is. Um, so yeah, I'm just running that. Um, at the bottom and to make sure my lashes are blended together so yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video give this video a like a comment subscribe hit that notification bell and i will be doing post notification shout outs in my next video um i've been seeing some of you guys leave um comments letting me know that you hit that notification bell so yes and yeah bye guys